It's been a few weeks now and I've been pushing Photoshop generative fill to its limits. I took this photo, did some editing and created this photo. My name's Shai, welcome back to the channel. Let's work on Photoshop generative fill together. All right, so the goal here is to push Photoshop to its limits. So we're gonna start off by opening up and duplicating a layer. So go to layer, duplicate layer, hit okay. Now we got a duplicate layer. Now I wanna make this photo wider. So we're gonna use our crop tool. I wanna go pretty far out. Also on the top. Not so much at the bottom, but a little more at the top. And then I wanna use my selection tool. So just select on every corner, hit shift because I'm on a Mac so we can select multiple areas. Hit generative fill, no prompt needed and hit generate. Wow, seriously, this amazes me every time. Now, of course we get three options here. I like that first one. So now let's have a little fun and add some objects here. So I'm going to use my lasso tool. Let's add a scary robot here. Hit generative fill. Scary robot. Hit generate. That's interesting. Now, if you don't like it, you can go in the prompt here and retype it. Let's try cyborg and hit generate again Ooh, that's an interesting one here i kind of like that let's add some birds in here so maybe hit generative fill small flock of birds Hit generate. Get some options here. Maybe that first one. All right. Now let's add a, maybe a reflective puddle here on the robot's feet. Let's see what comes up. Hit generative fill. Reflective puddle. Hit generate. Ooh, we got some options here. Oh, that's kind of interesting right there. Wow, that's amazing. Even catches the light from above here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's try on this side. Hit generative fill. Type in lights. Hit generate. Let's use that first one there. Okay, let's try. Maybe let's put a guy here on the corner. Generative fill, with type in tall man. Generate. Not too tall, but it looks like he's waving down a cab, so. Let's use that and maybe put in another robot here to make it interesting. Hit generative fill, robot, generates. Look at our selection here. Let's use that one. And let's do one last thing here. Let's change her hair color. Let's see if we can make it look decent. So I'm just gonna trace around Hit generative fill. Let's type in purple hair. And let's see what we get. Hit generate. <laughs> well, it's not purple, but it's kind of cool how it's flying in the air here. There's a little bit more color on top. I kind of like that one. I'm going to keep that one. So got to push the limits a little bit here. We can do a lot of things. Let's go ahead and see the before and after here. I'm just gonna merge all this together. Hit highlight and hit command E. And let's see the before. And
and after. Before and after. I'm just having so much fun with this software. Hopefully you can too and you learned a few things today. Thanks so much for joining me today. It was fun editing with you. Check out some of my other videos and tutorials and maybe some of my gear reviews. And remember, Shy's the Limits where we stay creative at work and in our passion projects. Please like and subscribe and I'm excited to see you on the next video. Thank you.